guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm honestly so, so excited for this video because I have been wanting to make this video for honestly about a month and a half now. I am somebody that finds it so, so hard shopping in person or online. I feel like I can never, ever, ever, ever find things that I either like or I put on and I feel good in. Like I find it so hard to shop and I see so many gorgeous people and gorgeous things and I'm like, oh my God, how are you finding these adorable pieces? About a month and a half ago, I sat down for literally like four hours and I was online shopping and I was very, very unsuccessful. And then I thought about Abercrombie because I realized, you know what, they have the Curve Love range and I thought maybe that is gonna slay. So I thought I'd have a little look and I found some really cute bits. It is expensive, it is on the pricier side, but now that I have everything and I can see it all in person, the quality is absolutely immaculate. So although it is expensive, I feel like it's so worth it. Like you're not just gonna get one or two wears out of it and then it's gonna start bobbling. Like this is like staple pieces and I'm so excited to show you. I'm not gonna lie, I have had to try a few bits on already because I did a huge order and then there wasn't some bits in my size. Oh no, it all came and then I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, this looks huge. So then I had to like return it and then reorder it in my size and I wanted to check it was right in the different size. And like this all been a long process and then there's been stuff that then wasn't in my size and I had to wait for it to come in stock. So it's been a while. I'm very, very, very excited to show it on and yeah have a little haul because hopefully if there's anybody out there that struggles like me with shopping and hates it you can just freaking go in the description and click the link and just buy it and not have to think about it because i've told you it's nice <laughs> just for reference i'm 5 foot 11 so i am a super tall girly i usually like a medium to large on top usually a large on bottom i have found that abercrombie aren't snug like everything i've got on the smaller size where i'd usually edge more to being a large i've gone for everything in a medium on top. Anyway, I can talk through the sizes when I'm putting them on, but the tops in Abercrombie in a large, which is way too big for me, which in most places, if I got a large, like I wouldn't feel like I'm drowned in it. So just keep that in mind when you're ordering from there, but let's get started. Okay, so first up, we have this gorgeous little vest top, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I think it's so classy. Most of these pieces are just so classy and timeless and just like, chef's kiss but this is like a knit little vest but then it's still like cute and doesn't look like too granny because it is a little bit cropped it's got a little bit of a lower neck it's kind of fitted like i just think this is so gorgeous like it's giving sailor vibes you know with the color like i feel like it's so cute i'm loving the navy i think it looks beautiful and it's so comfy like i literally don't feel like i'm wearing anything and then i actually have on these trousers i need to try and show you a bit better so for reference i got these in a size waist 31 and length long because I'm pretty sure they have short, regular, tall, and then extra tall. I feel like they are the perfect length for me. Although when I have shoes on, I feel like I will just want them an incy wincy bit longer. So I might just actually take it down like an extra inch because they do have the seam where you can do that. This length of trouser, the long trousers are probably perfect for someone like five foot nine or something. Honestly, they are so classy and so beautiful. Really high waist, like they literally just fit perfectly. They've got like navy stripes going down them. And I literally just feel so lovely and them i think they're so nice i think they're so wonderful i'm really really vibing with this outfit i just feel like a classy queen slaying i feel like i don't have enough outfits to like go to like nice dinners to or like you know feel like i can just like get dressed up and like pop out in like a nice outfit like i literally live in gym wear and then i literally rewear the same outfit when i'm going to a dinner or something and i want like different outfits to feel like oh what do i fancy tonight what is my vibe tonight what makes me feel cute tonight you know so it's nice just to feel like i have a few more options Okay, next up we have this gorgeous outfit. What I absolutely love about this vest top is that if you are a big booty girly and you feel like you have to wear a bra with everything, you don't have to. If that's what makes you feel more confident and comfortable when you're out, which is literally like me, like I would not not wear a bra because my boobs be down here. I feel like I can't wear cute little dainty tops or like have my back out or have my shoulders out or like whatever because the straps are always so small or like they don't have straps and I feel like I can't wear like cute tops because my bra is just always out. And like, look at this. The straps are beautiful and thick and they just cover it all which is great even at the back like it's so nice it literally could be like i'm not wearing a bra which i absolutely am so it's so cool but this one is actually a bodysuit and i'm usually quite against bodysuits i don't know why i don't know why i have that thing but i feel like usually they like drag down and then like 
pull me up in my face. But this is actually fitting really lovely. The material is like stretchy, but in like the best quality way. You can feel that it's like double lined, so you'd never like see a bra through it. Like it's super thick and gorgeous and so soft and comfy. Guys, one thing about me is that I'm so, so funny about feeling my clothes on me. I hate having sensory overload. Like it literally makes me feel like, oh my God, I need to be naked right this second. But this is just feeling so seamless on my body and I'm so here for it. And then onto the jeans, guys. I cannot tell you the last time I wear jeans. Wear jeans because I never find a good fit. I never feel like confident in them and I feel comfortable in them. I'd rather just wear leggings if I can get away with it or a skirt and tights because then at least I'm free, you know? These are the jeans we're working with. These are again in the size waist 31 length long and they are the curve love jeans. They are a certain style of jean and I will put that in the description because I can't think what the name of them are. It does say high rise the loose. They're so nice. You know when you get jeans from like anywhere and they're just not like proper jean material. These feel like a good proper jean. Look at this. As much as they're the perfect length right now, I feel like maybe I'd actually get on a bit better with an extra long because I know what I'm like and I'm really funny. Like I hate things feeling like they're not super long. I think I need to try them on with trainers to know if I want them even longer or not or if I'm just overthinking it because right now they look like the perfect length and I'm so here for them and this colour is gorgeous. Look at the fit. Like they're not super tight on my legs but then they still are a little bit fitted up top but then they just have like the baggy straight leg look and I'm like, oh my God, where have these jeans been all my life? I feel so slow right now. Hey! It's giving clueless. It's giving mean girls. It's giving Barbie going to a meeting. Ah! Oh, hang on a second. Ah! Girls, are we seeing this? Look how cute I look. I'm so here for this. This baby pink is a bit of me. I think my bra is slightly poking out, although this is a very high neck bra. So if we wear a little baby pink bra or one that isn't so high cup, you know, we have this beautiful little baby pink corset top. And what is great about this is on the back, you actually have this. You can loosen it up. Or you can cinch it in at the waist as well. So you can like make the fit a little bit different depending on how you want it to fit. And then I actually got the matching skirt because I thought it would have been rude not to. And who doesn't love a bloody matching set? Am I right? So this is honestly slaying. I actually have this skirt in a large and medium. This is the large skirt. The re I couldn't decide between the medium or large. The large one, I feel a bit more free in. Also, it's a scorp. It's a scorp, which is brilliant because I love having a little boogie me. I love doing this. I love whatever, you know, a little shaking around. So if the skirt wasn't there, that would be dangerous, quite frankly. So the fact I have a little short moment inside the skirt is a sleigh, if I'm honest. The reason I'm thinking large over medium is because the medium is much shorter. Because I'm a tall girly, I feel like it's much shorter. And so I just feel like if I sit down, if I, whatever, this is slightly big for me. And also it does have the elastic waist, so it would fit on someone a bit bigger than me. But I just feel a little bit more comfortable in something a little bit bigger that's not clinging to my tummy that's not showing my bum that i can move freely in and not feel restricted or have to keep readjusting it and worrying like oh god is my bum showing like whatever i could show on the medium just to show you the difference just to see because you might prefer a little bit more of a shorter look and like a little bit tighter look and that is completely fine it's just whatever like you feel better in so let me know what you think because i'm still a little bit not decided but i think this outfit is so cute i do look like a bougie corporate girly like i feel like all these outfits are giving like corporate girly but you know what we're just entering our classy girly era you know while we're here i also got this absolutely stunning blazer that i'm obsessed with absolutely obsessed with it couldn't be a more perfect blazer doesn't that just look adorable like who is she i feel like you can't go wrong with a perfect classy black blazer like you always need a blazer in the wardrobe throw it on with a pair of jeans throw it on with a skirt throw it over a dress like whatever you want to do with it you are officially sophisticated when you throw on that blazer but yeah it's really nice because it's got slightly structured shoulders but not too much that you look like a freaking soldier and it's just really classy like it's not got super oversized arms so it's not giving that super oversized look unless you want to go for the oversized look which in that case you might want to like size up but yeah i feel like it's really lovely i can't remember if i got the long one or not i know i got it in a large and it fits really perfectly so i'd say if you don't want the super oversized look go for your regular size if you do want an oversized look maybe go one or two over because i know some people like just kind of throwing it over their shoulder so yeah, how cute is that? I've just put on the size medium skirt just so you guys can see what it looks like because you might prefer that kind of look. I honestly can't decide if I'm honest. I think it's just because I'm so tall. I think if I was like five, six, I'd want this size because I'd feel more comfortable in it. Like if I'm just walking around, it's perfect. But 
if I'm sitting down, I, I just feel like I'll be like readjusting, you know? But still super cute. I could, I'm kind of like a medium plus in this case. I'm kind of like in between, you know? But I do feel like it looks great with the corset, but if I had it with another top, it might not look as good as what the large does. Just for reference. Okay, so next up we've got a little bit of a summer vibe. Yeah, it may not be summer, but you best believe it's not a bad thing as soon as that sun comes out to have a summer outfit ready. Ready. Deep. So we've got a little linen moment going on here and I of course I had to go for a purpley pink. There's other colours though and I feel like I need this in other colours. I need it in other colours. Like a beautiful neutral vibe would be an absolute slay. Chef's kiss. This is in a medium. These are in a 31 long. Although I keep saying the same thing but I feel like I should have got these in an extra long. Like they're literally touching my feet. Wait you cannot see that. The bottom is touching my feet but I just feel like for the vibe of a linen outfit I want it to be really flowy and long and like I can wear them with like flip flops or like sandals or like Birkenstocks and like they're kind of covering the, the flip flop or sandal or Birkenstock. But I am absolutely loving this outfit. I love a little matching set if you can't tell. Like only thing is I'm a young girly and I feel like I am looking quite mature but that's a good thing like that's slay. I look like I have my shit together. Like these outfits they're cool man. If I saw someone else in them I'd be like yeah she is a cool girl she is freaking cool <laughs> so what are we thinking to this thing girlies what are we reckoning Whee! i'm a little highlighter in this outfit and i'm so here for it okay we've got a little bit rogue guys i'm not sure what i'm thinking with this top i probably want to wear these jeans a little bit more with a longer fitted top now i got these in a size up so i actually got these in a waist 32 long okay they are obviously a low rise and they're called the baggy but what i love about these is the cuffs i don't know if you can see them from this far away hello but the cuffs of them are really thick. Is that what they're called? The cuffs? I think that's what they're called. Look, you see that? You see the cuffs are really big? I wanted a cool jean. I'm a cool girl, yeah? Yeah, I'm mature. Yeah, I am wear these corporate girly outfits. I'm also a cool girl, you know? We got low rise, we got baggy, we got big cuffs. What could be freaking cooler? And I absolutely love the colour of them. The only thing is, I do love a slightly low rise jean. I think that is super slay. You know, it took me a while to get there, not having a perfectly flat tummy. It took me a while to even consider the fact that low rise jeans aren't just for super skinny people. And they're not. They're not. They slay on people bigger than a size 4, 6, 8, you know? But these are very low waist. What I'm used to when I say low waist is like here, underneath the tummy button. These are kind of giving hipsters, which I do feel like to slay, but then I feel like I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna be a bit conscious. I don't know. Maybe I need to get them in one size down so that they just sit a little bit more on my hips. Like this is how I want them. This would be perfect. Just like that. Just a little bit higher, a little bit tighter so I don't feel like they're about to show my whole foof, you know? But I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful. Maybe I just get them on to sound, but then I don't want the bagginess to go from the leg. Because if I have them any tighter, it won't be as baggy on my, my thighs, you know, my, my thighs. I'd love a little bit of help in the comments, if I'm honest. But I think they're so cool. Look how cool I look. Yeah. She's a cool girl. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. This outfit is giving a major slay. It's also giving nurse outfit, but I'm so here for it. So this blue corset is the same as the pink one. I think these are called the Mia vests. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they also have them in the white and navy stripes that matches those trousers I wore to begin with. But I just don't think they have them in my size when I was ordering. I've also got on the matching trousers. So these are the same as the white stripy trousers that I wore to begin with. And honestly, I love this outfit. Oh my God, it's so comfortable thing for me just feeling comfortable i hate feeling squeezed into things i hate feeling like things are rolling over things like i like to just feel comfortable and like things actually fit me like i don't want to be fitting myself into clothes i want my clothes just to fit me and feel good again this top has the little thing at the back so you can pull it in if you want or loosen it off if that's what works for you and then these are nice and high waist again they have like a nice straight baggy leg look and they are long enough so these are again in the waist 31 length long and i love them and i feel so good in this outfit like again just a really good outfit to chuck on going shopping going for a meal going to a, something a little bit more fancy like it's just a nice outfit to feel put together and you always look and feel more put together when your outfit's matching right i love that so i'm obviously wearing the same trousers but i just put on this gorgeous black bodysuit guys she is 
thick. She is supportive. She is bloody beautiful. Honestly, this bodysuit is chef's kiss. I'm so impressed. I honestly feel like Abercrombie is going to be my go-to when I need to find something cute because everything about everything is just gorgeous. Like, it just fits so lovely. Like, it's stretchy, but it's still really good, 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 good quality. And, like, you just can't go wrong with a basic tee. You cannot go wrong. And I actually love that it is a bodysuit because it means that it's not going to ruch and roll up. You know, like, if you have a regular top that you've tucked in, it's always going to ruch and then it doesn't look as, like, crisp, you know? This looks crisp because it's pulled and it's positioned. And I'm so here for it. Abercrombie, you're doing good, mate. So, I've just popped on the first pair of jeans that I tried on just to pop it on with this top. Basically, I really, really thought this was a really nice top because it's like a basic, but it's got a little something about it, which was like, oh, that's exciting. Like, it's not just like the plain black one, which there's definitely space for and you definitely are never going to go wrong with, but I thought wouldn't be a harm to try, you know, to change something up, make the basic a little bit more exciting. But this is what we're working with here, guys. So I thought, oh my God, this could slay because it's a little bit different to a regular basic, but the back is covered up. That means my bra is covered. And I thought, yes, the straps are wide, but they are thick. So hopefully that will cover my bra, but it unfortunately hasn't. Unless I find a bra that has really wide straps. I don't know, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it work, unfortunately. Again, this is really high, so I could probably get a bra that covers there, and then it's not too bad just having the strap out. But I feel like I won't feel put together. Unless I find a bra that's like the exact same colour, and then you just saw the straps, that could be too bad. But not only that, it's got the straight neckline, it's got the thick straps that are a little bit wider, kind of goes over your shoulders, has the full coverage on the back, and then it also has the ruching on the side so it does really have nice detailing and it's baby blue and it's really cute like I feel like you can't go wrong with this so if you don't have the bra issue this would be a really lovely top to chuck on and again it has the exact same gorgeous material and it's ruching all in the middle too and it just feels like a really lovely top like you can't really go wrong with it and finally I actually have bought my very first trench coat so I actually dropped like a bit of like makeup oil or something on it and I was like absolutely fuming so then I was scrubbing it immediately with a makeup wipe and now I've bloody stained the bottom of it, haven't I? So it looks like I'm keeping this one. Uh, I can't find it, but that's probably a good thing that I can't spot it right now. Oh, here it is. So yeah, I actually made the issue 10 times worse, which is a very me thing to do. They have a lot of beautiful colours. I thought I'd go with the standard classic kind of camel colour as my first one. They also have black. I think they have like a beige. Yeah, I didn't know whether I should have gone for the size down, but then again, at least I can wear a hoodie underneath it. It is just a little bit baggy, but it is absolutely stunning. Like it looks so bougie and so cool. I do want to get into my trench coat girl era because I feel like they're really slay. I don't think I'd do it up. Just quickly remove that. I feel like it's cute, right? Let me know what you guys think. It's nice, right? Like, I feel like, does it look cool? Please tell me it looks cool because I can't tell it back because I have a stain all over it. But yeah, it's a really nice trench coat, really nice material, really nice quality. That's kind of the vibe, isn't it? Oversized trench coat vibe. So that concludes everything that I have got from Abercrombie on this occasion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I do love doing a little clothing haul because I don't often buy like really lovely clothes. So when I do, I freaking go all out and splash the cash. Like this was an expensive haul. <laughs> let me tell you that. But yeah, let me know if you liked anything. So things you did like, the things you rate, the things you don't rate. If you buy them yourselves, if you end up buying anything, like let me know. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. All the links will be in the description box below from all of the things I've tried on. My socials will be linked in the description box below and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye angels.